Hi, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and um, we are continuing our look at understanding um, cemetery symbols and symbology, things of that nature. And today we're going to be looking at one um, that's familiar to most of us. Let me turn this around. And what you see in front of us there is the lily of the valley. Now, you've probably heard uh, people talk about um, lilies not only being white, but uh, a symbol of purity, that sort of thing. Um, lily white uh, means clean and chaste as possible. Victorians were especially fond of lilies uh, because they used them to symbolize purity, mercy, innocence, and chastity. And um, they're often referred to uh, at funeral bouquets, things of that nature. Uh, belief that the soul regains its innocence upon death. Headstone, on headstones, they often refer to the soul's return to a state of purity and innocence in the afterlife. And it comes from the belief from the legend that as Eve cried in the Garden of Eden, feeling repentant for her sinful acts, the first lily grew. Interesting. In France, in France, lilies were once an emblem of loyalty and they're a decorative motif, as you know, with the fleur-de-lis. And uh, three petals, although this one has more than that, symbolize the Holy Trinity. So when we look at this, um, that's really a good, a good Im uh, impression, a good uh, view of the Lily of the Valley. And this is for Anna, Anna R. Byram, and this is the Byram cemeteries here. I'm not quite sure what's going on over there, but this is the Byram cemeteries on, on her gravestone. It says sheltered and safe from sorrow. Uh, her mother, it says she is not dead, but alive. Susan H. Uh, for her father, apparently, Joseph H. By Byram, absent, not dead. And this is Susie G. Byram, wife of B.M. Wilbur. I don't know where he's buried. And this is uh, Maria P. Byram. And it says on her, and sweetly through the, stand, the silence comes his loving, follow me. And this, well, I'm not sure, M-E-B, let's see here, M-E-B and T-A-B, and then there's this here, Joseph H. Byram, they have an obelisk, I have a, um, uh, uh, video on, on obelisk. But this is Joseph H. Byram, born March 18th, 1809, died January 7th, or excuse me, June 17th, 1879. Susan H., his wife, 1811 to 1875. She predeceased him. Oh, there have been some trees down here. We had an ice storm. This is Anna B. Byram. Born September 17th, 1834. Died March 12th, 1887. Susie, P, Susie G. 1846 to 1885. Uh, Maria, 1848 to 1890. Uh, cleaning up stuff, I guess. This is Joseph H. Byram, 35 years old. Ada L, 12 years old, and Jessica G, 17 months. Sad. And then uh, there's a Thomas Byram back here. You can probably see it with the flag that's tipped over on its side. I probably should, uh, I'll pick that up. Oh, it's a little windy here today. There we go. 
There we go. I had to flag back up there. And I don't know if this is by room here also. No, that's another another family. So anyways, here is a good example, as I said, of a lily of the valley. So with that, I hope you're enjoying the series. Um, please, uh, I'm gonna say ring the bell, but yeah, ring the bell, uh, subscribe, hit the like button, Leave a comment and uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. You have a nice day now.